Hello everyone, I would like to show you another machine. It's a new new machine, new concept. It's a semi-continuous retort. It's designed for processing of plastic and waste motor oil. Right now I'm just running some waste motor oil through the machine. It's still under development. Here I've got a little here and there I've got some little smoking. Uh, it's some problems with the welds, and uh, I will fix it later. Just still testing it, still uh, trying to make it run better. It's not the first day run. Uh, today is more productive. It's more productive now. Here's a diesel fraction production over here. running from this cooler yeah and there's are some auxiliary tubes running out and they're not connected yet so I still experimenting still trying different options and I converted actually using an old barbecue burner as a heat source so it's running on LPG right now and it's getting dark already but anyway I decided to run a trial small trial here we've got diesel fraction I wouldn't say it's really fast production not really high flow but anyway I didn't have any flow before that, now it's quite good. I've got a small flow of petrol. I still need to check this petrol and possibly would need to run everything through the petrol separator first to retrieve whatever petrol, but intention was to make a machine that would be capable to produce just predominantly two fractions one fraction is a diesel fraction this one and another one is a petrol fraction this diesel fraction because it's a, a pyrolysis retort anyway it's this diesel fraction st may still contain some petrol in it some gas and it will need to be removed i will check this fraction later and uh, see what it contains if there's petrol then everything would need to be run through the petrol separator maybe this diesel fraction is good enough with no petrol in it then i would definitely need to run this particular one through the petrol separator so i would separate the proper petrol at proper temperatures from from a diesel fraction and diesel fraction gonna be cleaned chemically and used for diesel engine yeah it's still smoking there and there but I will fix it later not a problem right now I need to ensure that machine is running that's capable to produce something once I finish development I would put some simple plans on paper so the goal was to build a machine that would run out of the burner without using electricity much in this case I use just a little bit it's a 12 volt power supply running a small fuel pump and fuel pump solid state fuel pump running some oil from from the oil container to the machine is a fuel pump The current temperature is 315 degrees. Here's a production. So it's definitely contains some petrol, but again, it also contains some heavy fraction 
snow burns completely. And leaves behind some sort of uh, fetchy spot. See if it's if it's dry, then it's probably kerosene in there. Hydrometer shows a density of about 820-830. It's still warm, over 20 degrees. So once it's cooled down, it will show 830 kg per cubic meter. So it's exact de density of the diesel fuel. Is a petrol line so you can see the flow within the tube it's a petrol flow 349 right now I may make that approximately 370 up to 400 degrees So here's a sample of low quality petrol and it's floating somewhere in, in between of petrol and diesel. So it definitely contains some petrol, definitely contains some diesel fraction. The gas bottle is frosty. Now it's coming out quite transparent, really clear. Might be different with different types of oil and plastic. So I will experiment further with different types of uh, feedstock and see what sort of result I would get. <laughs> 